Hi, I'm Catherine, the Ranking Gal, and if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up by smashing that like button down below, and be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell so you don't miss our next video. We really hope you enjoy our video, and thanks for watching. Greatest bass lines. The bass guitarist is the most important instrument for keeping the band on tempo and acts as a bridge between the drums and guitar to provide a rhythmic foundation. So for this list, we rank the 25 best rock bass lines of all time. And we're saving non-rock bass lines for another list, so feel free to make any relevant suggestions in the comments section so we can include it in our next video. We love to hear your suggestions. And the criteria that we used, again, was critical acclaim, innovation, popularity, placement on other ranking lists, and our personal subjective opinion. Hi, and welcome to another video from Ultimate Rankings. I'm Mark, the Ranking Guy. The rankings on our channel are the result of serious research and relative criteria, unlike the many other fluff videos out there. The goal of our channel is to bring you the most accurate, interesting, and informative top 25 rankings in all of sports and entertainment. Let's get to the rankings. We have one honorable mention that didn't make the list because while it's thought of as a classic baseline, it's actually not. It's Seven Nation Army, which is from the White Stripes 2003 album, Elephant. And the bass line is performed by Jack White, who created the bass line sound with a semi-acoustic guitar electronically lowered an octave. At number 25, we have Wrathchild from Iron Maiden's second studio album, Killers, from 1981. And the bass line is performed by Steve Harris, who also wrote the song. <laughs> 24, Living on a Prayer from Bon Jovi's third studio album, Slippery When Wet, from 1986. And the bass line is performed by Hugh McDonald, who was originally uncredited. At number 23, we have The Chain from Fleetwood Mac's chart-topping 1977 album, Rumors. The bass line is performed by John McVie. Twenty-two, Golden Years from David Bowie's ten album Station to Station from 1976, and the bass line is performed by George Murray. Twenty-one, Ace of Spades is the 1980 title track from Motorhead's album Ace of Spades, and the bass line is performed by Ian Fraser Kilmister, better known as Lemmy. Panic Attack from Dream Theater's eighth album, Octavarium, released in 2005, and the bass line is performed by John Young. 19. Feel Good Inc. by British virtual band Gorillaz, featuring American hip hop group De La Soul. The bass line is credited to Morgan Nichols. 18, Iron Man by Black Sabbath, released on their 1970 album Paranoid, and the bass line is performed by Geezer Butler. 17, For Whom the Bell Tolls, from Metallica's second album, Ride the Lightning, released in 1984, and the bass line is performed by Cliff Burton. 16 is Jerry was a race car driver from Primus's 1991 album Sailing the Seas of Cheese. The bass line is performed by Les Claypool. 15 Jeremy from Pearl Jam's debut album 10 released in 1992 and the bass line is performed by Jeff Ament.
Number 14, Whipping Post, from the Allman Brothers Band's debut album in 1969 called simply the Allman Brothers Band. The original bass line was performed by Barry Oakley, who sadly died in a motorcycle accident in 1972 at the age of only 24, just like Dwayne Allman did a year earlier. In Sweet Emotion from Aerosmith's third studio album released in 1975, the bass line is performed by Tom Hamilton. Number 12, Hysteria from Muse's third studio album, Absolution, released in 2003. The bass line is performed by Chris Wolstenholme. Eleven, Schism, from Tool's third album, Lateralis. Released in 1972, the bass line is performed by Justin Chancellor. Number 10, All American Alien Boy, is the title track from Ian Hunter's second studio album, which was released in 1976. The bass line is performed by the great Jaco Pistorius. At number 9 is Sunshine of Your Life. From Cream's second album, Disraeli Gears, released in 1967, the bass line is performed by Jack Bruce, who said the distinctive bass riff was developed after attending a Jimi Hendrix concert. <laughs> Number 8, My Generation, is the title track to The Who's debut album in 1965. The bass line is performed by the legendary John Entwistle. Number 7, Roundabout, from Yes's fourth studio album, Fragile, released in 1971. Considered one of the greatest rock songs of all time, the bass line is performed by Chris Squire. Number six, Can't Stop, from the Red Hot Chili Peppers 2002 album, by the way, their eighth studio album. The bass line is performed by Michael Balzari, better known as Flea. Number five, YYZ, is an instrumental rock composition by Rush from their 1981 album, Moving Pictures, their eighth studio album. The bass line is performed by Getty Lee. Number four, Another One Bites the Dust from Queen's eighth studio album, The Game, released in 1980. The bass line is performed by John Deacon. At number three is Come Together, from the Beatles' 1969 Abbey Road album, their 11th studio album. The bass line, of course, is performed by Paul McCartney. Number two, Money, one of the greatest rock songs ever, and it's from Pink Floyd's legendary 1973 Dark Side of the Moon album. The bass line is performed by Roger Waters. Hi again, if you liked this video, please give us a thumbs up by smashing that like button down below and be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell so you don't miss our next video. We really hope you enjoyed our video and I am dying to find out who's number one. And at number one, we have Ramble On from Led Zeppelin's classic second album, released in 1969. The mesmerizing bass line is both beautiful and funky and performed by the great John Paul Jones. Say, 
Just a reminder that we do both sports and entertainment ranking videos, so please check them all out at our video channel. We don't expect anyone to completely agree with our rankings, so please let us know what your rankings are and what you agree and disagree with in the comments section. And feel free to let us know what ranking videos you'd like to see next. And thanks for watching.